I'm very, very happy to be here tonight. I would like to ex express my appreciation for the, to the Goldman family for initiating this type of an award. I think the Goldman Award is unique in that it recognizes that grassroots are the, are the force that can move our societies. I also think it is unique because it recognizes the, the, the interconnections between the issue of development and environment. Additionally, I would of course like to thank my colleagues in Germany. I would like to say that I feel that this prize honors a whole movement which is working towards change in my own country. I'd also like to express thanks to my parents for instilling me with a lot of perseverance and courage which is needed in this line of work. But <laughs> most of all, I would like to thank my daughter Leah for having a lot of patience and putting up with an activist mother. <laughs> my own work originated in the peace movement and in a sense, that is still what my work is about. We are witnessing a war. And although this war has not been declared, it is nonetheless global. It is a war against nature and against those societies that still live close to nature. The driving force behind this war is the industrial model of development and the resource hunger of the rich countries. Nonetheless, many of the battlefields and casualties are located in the third world. This disparity between cause and effect explains much of the difficulty in putting an end to the violence. Take the example of the Federal Republic of Germany, one of the richest countries in the world. Through destructive development projects, through the activities of German companies, and through Germany's consumption of timber, minerals, and agro-industrial products from the third world. Germany is probably responsible for the extinction of more plant and animal species in the tropics than even exist in our own country. Strangely enough, much of the development discussion still centers on the third world, and not enough attention is paid to the maldevelopment of the so-called first world. We don't need structural adjustment in the south. We need ecological structural adjustment in the north. The governments of the rich countries have turned their backs to the crisis. Therefore, each of us is called upon to fight for the earth with our intellects, with our hands, and most of all, with our hearts. It is up to us to teach societies to learn, to teach our societies to learn again to respect the limits of natural systems and to seek wealth in quality and community instead of quantity and consumption. This is the path we must follow to make peace with the earth. Thank you very much.